This tutorial shows how to import a design from another CAD package into eMachine Shop, providing instant pricing and online ordering. For example, you might have a design in your CAD package like this. First, from your other CAD software, export your drawing to ASCII DXF, scaled one-to-one -one with all non-essential drawing features, such as dimension lines, turned off. Then, start a new file in the eMachine Shop CAD software. Now choose File, Import, select the DXF file, and click the Import button. Click OK, click OK. This is a 1 inch calibration square. We can select it and delete it. We have two views in this design. We are going to work on the view with the largest area. This will be the top view. We will disable any other views by selecting the associated lines and choosing Line, Machine, Comments to Self, OK. Notice that when we click the outer line we see a closed contour. That's good. The eMachine ShopCAD software allows only closed contours. And contours can be nested but must not intersect. The two circles are also OK as closed contours. Let's click on the remaining lines to see if they are closed contours. Apparently, the two straight lines are open. We can see that more clearly by clicking the nudge down button for each of the lines. We need to join the lines into a closed contour. That's easy to do by clicking the line button and drawing a straight line between them. The same at the bottom. Now we need to group the four lines together as a closed contour. Select the lines and click the group button. Now we have a rectangle as a closed contour. We'll click Nudge Up to move the rectangle back into position. Now we need to set the Z values for each contour. The Z value determines how far material extends perpendicular to the screen. Positive values create protrusions while negative values create recesses. The specific values can be determined from your original CAD program. For the outer contour, we need a Z value of 0.2. For the inner contour, which is a recess, we need a Z value of minus 0.1. The circles are already set to air inside, which creates a through hole, which is what we want. Let's take a look at the 3D view to see what we have so far. Our part is almost complete. Let's close the 3D view. Now let's set up the front view. This view corresponds to the lower edge of the top view. First select the lines and choose Edit, Cut, then choose View, Front, and Edit, Paste. This is the view we just pasted. Since we set these lines as comments, we need to activate them. Select the lines. Choose Line, Machine, Auto for the normal automatic setting. 
click OK. This is the projection from the top view, which we already constructed. We need to drag the front view onto the projection lines. Then mirror the view if needed to match the projection like this. And nudge the view away. Note that most of the front view lines are redundant to the projection lines from the top view. We need to delete the redundant lines. Click to select. Click the ungroup button. Select each redundant line and click the delete button. This diagonal line, however, is not redundant to a projection line, so we keep it. Now we select the remaining lines and nudge back on top of the projection lines. Next, we need to close the open line along the projection lines like this. Then multi-select the closed lines. And create a closed contour by clicking the Group button. Now we set the Z values. Select all three contours. Select Air Inside. And that completes the drawing. Let's check the 3D view. We have all the features in place. To check pricing, you can click the check mark button. Ordering is done via the Order, Place Order menu. eMachine Shop also offers a variety of video tutorials showing how easy it is to design your parts directly in eMachine Shop CAD.